What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Let me check something here real quick. Okay. Looks like I'm good. Oh my goodness. Man, it's been one hellacious day. I'm here working inside an electrical closet ceiling inside a church where we're running three odd wire for a lighting system from the panel to the back of the sanctuary. And this is hard work because we got to get this two inch conduit up in here. And I just got this. My buddy Alan had to go back to the supply house to pick up some more stuff so we can tie it into the panel and finish making it across the ceiling. And I'm tired, boss. I'm real tired. So the discussion that we have going on right now is about Emmett Smith. Um, I'm oh, sorry is Emmett Smith talking about Zeke Elliott. Emmett Smith, always one who loves the running backs and always shows them lots of love. When we got rid of DeMarco Murray, he wanted DeMarco Murray to return and so on. Now we've heard word from Jeremy Fowler that Zeke Elliott is still on the table to return to the Cowboys. Um, which you have to always say, you always leave the doors open on the table. And, you know, it's just like one of those things where you say all options are on the table. It doesn't mean that you're actually going to follow through on any of those options, but all options are on the table. We've also heard that um, Tampa Bay is interested in uh, getting Zeke, but it'll be at the right price. And that's where the problem is for Zeke is how much money will he actually get paid? Um is the big big question see that that's the conduit where we got to pull that wire through that's going down the hallway here and let me get down out the ceiling and that's where it's going to be going into the panel right there so we need to get a pvc connector two inch connector and ring so that way put a little extension on there and that'll go up in the ceiling and then that'll go in there and we can pull the wire. Yeah, I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none, which is better than the master of just one because I can be the key to end of your woes, your ups, your downs, your highs, and your lows. If you know what I mean. Um, the funny thing about... Here's the funny thing about Tampa Bay being interested in Zeke Elliott but then talking about how much money he's going to cost. Ronald Jones was actually a decent running back for him. He averaged last year 4.1 yards a carry. I think the year before uh, averaged 4.4 or 4.5. He's averaged 4.4 in his career. Um, doesn't have a lot of miles on him. He's only got 2,200 yards um, on his body. And the Cowboys signed him for a million dollars. You got to think that Zeke Elliott is going to be paid well north of that because he is a vested veteran and he is Zeke Elliott, even though he has made a whole bunch of money in his career. And if you're Zeke, I don't know if Tampa Bay is going to be where you really want to go unless you just love the weather because Tampa Bay is in the process of basically rebuilding. Tom Brady is gone. Most of his roster has gotten old. A lot of the hired assassins have already left. And so it's not exactly looking great as far as being in Tampa. At least that's my own personal opinion, but what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job, a weekend job, who's up in ceilings on a Saturday afternoon pulling wire. So don't go by what I have to say. Um, but for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to turn around and say, we'll take an older back in Zeke Elliott 
who averaged 3.5 or 3.6 yards a carry as opposed to the guy we had that was averaging 4.1 doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Now, again, this is the NFL silly season where people are going to talk about this, that, and the other, and you don't know what to believe. You know, of course, this is kind of like, I tell you what this is like when Jeremy Fowler says, um, Zeke Elliott returning is on the table. You remember when Cam Newton was released by Carolina or New England? Um, somebody had said the Cowboys are going to do due diligence um, with Cam Newton. Now, the funny thing is, is people took that and ran with it and said, oh my God, the Cowboys are interested in um, bringing in Cam Newton. Dak Prescott's in trouble. You know, the Dak Prescott haters were hoping that was the case. But the reality was, is the Cowboys and every team out there does due diligence on every single player. You always, as Stephen Jones says, player acquisition is a 365 day a year job. And so you're always looking to say, is this guy going to be more effective than the other guys I have? Is he going to save me some money where I'm going to be able to get other players? All these things are always on the table. But I still believe that the Cowboys have moved on. Between Tony Pollard hearing um, my buddy DMV talking about Tony Pollard, that the team's not worried about his health and everything else, that he'll be ready to go for training camp. Um, the fact that we got Ronald Jones for literally a million dollars. Um, and, of course, we got Deuce Vaughn, you know, wild thing, um, that we've got Deuce Vaughn here as well, that you're looking at this, and um, God, I can't remember our other back we had who should have gotten more opportunities last year. Um, you're looking at this and saying, are we really just going to pay Zeke 2 or $3 million to be a battering ram? And will Zeke Elliott accept that role? I don't know. Because in the end, we ran the ball about 25 times a game last year between Zeke and Tony. You've got currently four running backs on the roster. And you're still only going to have 25 carries a game. Now, not that all of them will be active every week. And also, we have a fullback in there, too. Um, I don't believe that we are headed for, you know, running, running the football 40 times a game. I just don't believe that. So, in my mind, yeah, it's nice to think... You know, Zeke Elliott might be coming back or you might want to for nostalgia stake and stuff because we hate to see somebody like Zeke Elliott playing in another uniform. But the reality is, is I think Zeke is not coming back. All right, good people. Catch you later. Peace.